get to the one fix. One get to the one kit. A lot of my neighbors have a uh, Bermuda lawn, and my neighbor asked me if I can help him with his lawn, and um, I was giving some tips. So this video is all about renovating a Bermuda lawn, which I know a little bit about. So here's my neighbor's yard, and as you can see, everything is green. It just sprouted because um, we've been getting a lot of warm temperatures and he did not put a pre-emergent down. So I sprayed it with glyphosate, a really low rate of glyphosate to kill a lot of this green stuff and it's starting to wilt a little bit. But the goal here is to kill off the weeds that are already here, mow it down, scalp it down, clean it up, pick up all the clippings, put down a pre-emergent and some fertilizer and water like crazy. Let's see what happens. So this is what I sprayed it with. Um, this is something you get in a, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's and it contains 41% glyphosate and it's a weed and grass killer. Uh, this is another, uh, this is the active ingredient but you can get Roundup. Um, and basically what this does is kill anything that's green. So you do not want to put it on a cool season lawn like this or any, any lawn that's greening up because it, it will kill the lawn. You, the only reason why I'm putting it at the Bermuda lawn is because his grass is still dormant and there's a lot of weeds popping up so we can spray the weeds. And there's actually, if you read the back of the label here, it tells you um, it has a low rate of how to spray Bermuda. So we went on a low rate with this to kill off the, the green. And I also, just for the heck of it, I put down Freeway Max Turf and Ornamental in it. So now that these weeds are checked out and dead, I am going to mow as low as I can uh, to clean it up. I'm also going to use the bagger to pick up any of these clippings. And uh, just the reason why is because now that the temperatures are warm, uh, the sun is going to heat up the ground a little bit more. The, the fertilizer is going to get more in here. And the pre-emergent is going to get into the soil a lot easier now that uh, as soon as I uh, mow this lawn. Here it is, real bald, looks nice and clean, look at this mess that it leaves, even though I picked up the clippings, it still makes a huge mess. See if I didn't pick up these clippings, this is, all the stuff you see on the floor would be covering that soil and a lot of the uh, nutrients from the fertilizer would have a hard time getting through and what we want to do is just expose you want to expose the uh, the ground so that uh, the Sun can heat it up the fertilizer can get in there and the pre-emergent can get in there this is just for the first cut you want to just scalp it and just get rid of all the dead stuff look at that look at this bag it's full of clippings and there's another one inside of there so now that the, the lawn is mowed, now I'm going to go ahead and spray some pre-emergent down. And, uh, but before that, I need to measure how big this area is. So I went ahead and measured the lawn um, using a tape measure. And um, so I, I sectioned it out into two sections because it has this weird curve. And you want to measure uh, from here to here, it's 36 feet. And from here, it curves a little bit, but it's about 44 feet. And then I split it in half, and I measure from here to here, 36 feet by uh, 
45 feet, and then he has a small section which is about 40 feet across and then 9 feet this way. And what you want to do is multiply uh, the length times width, so it's 36 times 44, 1,584 feet, and then the other sections 900 and then 360. And then you add it all up and equals to about 2,844 feet. So I'm going to round that off to 3,000 square feet. That's what our that's what we're working with. And now that we have the measurement of that area, now we know how to apply the pre-emergent and our fertilizer. So as a pre-emergent, I'm going to be applying some of this Prodiamine 65WDG. You can, it's made by QualiPro. I think this is the generic version. You can get this at uh, Do My Own or just on Amazon if you'd like. So there's this handy uh, Prodiamine calculator that I'll post in the description below that helps you figure out how much to apply and I'm going to be spraying it in my backpack sprayer. So according to the recommendations, it's telling me to for to cover the lawn for eight months. Um, it's recommending that I put 1.65 ounces of prodiamine. So the way you figure out how much uh, powder to uh, to measure uh, one to 165, 1.65 is to use a scale. And this is a scale that we have for cooking, and it works just fine for, for what I'm doing. But you want to put the cup on here, zero it out, and now let's put start putting it inside until it gets to 1.65. Oh. We want to make sure there's water in there first. So we're going to fill it up to three gallons because a gallon equals to 1,000 square feet and we have 3,000 square feet that we have to cover. So we're going to fertilize with, um, this is what my neighbor bought. I would recommend something with something with some, some potassium in it. Um, but this is what he has, it's a 34% nitrogen bag which is going to really wake up the yard um, you want to go with something with a lot of nitrogen Bermuda can handle it from my understanding a lot better than other grasses so it over. and it says a 3400 which is what this bag is it's recommending three to four pounds per thousand square feet which we have about three thousand square feet so we're gonna go 12 pounds per thousand square feet the high end of it so it's a 50 pound bag, sorry, a 40 pound bag, so we're going to do whatever 12 pounds of that looks like. So if you divide it up in half, now we know that this is 20 pounds, so we need, from that 20 pounds, we need 12 pounds. So you, I'm just going to eyeball it and just say that half of that 20 is 10, so I'm just going to go a little higher than I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. It's starting to rain already, so I'm trying to get this pre merger down. Feel the rain coming. Hey guys. So let's check out the results. Quite a difference, right? So, no weeds. Just a few poana, any bluegrass. He needs to cut his lawn. Look at that runner. It's running. So this is my neighbor's lawn. He uh, he obviously doesn't cut it as often as um, he should. Probably once every two weeks, which is terrible for the lawn. But um, yeah, this is after a few months. No weeds, all green.
this would be all filled in if he mowed three, every three or four days. This would all fill in easily. Um, so yeah, these are the final results after just a few months. It's looking pretty though. What a change. The, the thing I'm most impressed with is the how well the pre-emergent works. It's really, it's really hot right now and there's no weeds in this lawn. Just a few uh, uh, cool season uh, grasses that are dying off because of the heat now. But yeah. All right, guys, that concludes the video. That was a lot of fun. I'm more of a, my knowledge is a little bit more on tall fescue, but I know a little bit about Bermuda as well. So I wanted to uh, test it out to see um, if I'm able to rejuvenate or renovate uh, Bermuda lawn. And, uh, and that's it.